Welcome to the Floral POS. In this how-to video, we're just going to go over our new payment and refund screen. This how-to video is just a general overview of the payment and refund screen. We will be releasing other videos in the future on how to do each individual payment and refunds. So let's get started. So what you're going to do is I'm just going to do a standard walk-in sale. I'm going to go ahead and do a basket, a fruit basket here. And then I'm going to click on the money button. Once you do that, it opens up your payment screen. And I kind of want to go over the payment screen itself, what everything is in here. So if you look at the top title bar of the payment screen, you have your order number and you have your order total. Down below that, you have your payment type, which you can select from cash, check, credit card, donation, gift card, or COD. When you select each one of these, it actually gives the corresponding information for each individual payment type. You can see with credit card, it has all the credit card information over here. If you do donation, it has the donation information, and gift card, and so on, COD. In this example, we're going to do a cash sale. So we have a payment amount right here, and it says $64.79. So the payment amount will always be the full amount that's due for the order. So in this example, we'll just do $50 on that. You have your payment date and change if there was any change. Down below you have your add payment open drawer. So I'm going to hit add payment. That's going to automatically add this cash payment into our order. Let's go ahead and do that. And what you can see down below is it automatically added this cash payment against the order. When it did that, you can see up top here, and now it shows your amount owed of $14.79 up in the title bar here. It also shows it here as well. So we'll go over some more items here. Um, we're going to kind of glance over this information here because it's going to be a more detailed video on the print settings. So you have print receipt, print work ticket, email receipt, email work ticket. And if, uh, if you were to select house account, which you can't hear because it's just a walk-in order, you'd actually see invoice payments and or invoice print invoice and email invoice, which is something you guys have been wanting. We'll show that to you guys here on another order when we do a delivery order. So let's go ahead and move on here. So um, if you look to your right down below here, you have a couple icons that will help you guys out. One here is called credit card history. You guys have seen this before, and this basically shows you the credit card history of this particular order. So if you maybe had any hiccups with the credit cards, you can kind of go in here, and it shows you exactly what happened. Um, you have your order transaction history. So this is the history about the entire order. So you can see right now we got four items that have happened so far inside the order. And then you have your refund manager button, which we'll come back to that. To your right here, you have a drop down menu of different things you can print. So now inside the payment screen, you can actually print a combined ticket, work ticket, and a receipt, which you could before. But now you can print these two extra things, which you couldn't before in, in the past. This preview button allows you to preview any of these things. This allows you to print, this allows you to email. And then to your right here you have two new items that we've added. One station defaults, so if you're having printer problems, you can't get a hold of us tech, tech support wise, the first thing you do troubleshooting wise is click on this and kind of see what your printer settings are. And then last but not least is your Windows printer settings. So it's kind of a neat, it actually allows you, it goes right to your Windows printer settings. So if there's anything happening inside the Windows world uh, with the printers, you could go ahead and um, look at that. So now we see this cash sale here uh, of $50. Um, you can see that there's no change, the date it was taken, the time taken by T-Bell, any payment information. So if it was a credit card, there might be credit card info in here. Um, then you can print this individual receipt, email it, delete it, and then take notes on it. The cool thing about this print button, and uh, which makes this button different than this button, is this prints the individual um, payment receipt. So if you have like multiple credit card receipts and maybe every, each individual person wanted their own receipt, you could print each individual one if you wanted to. This button up here will actually print everything together. So if you had four um, credit cards, it would print them all together on one receipt and allow them to sign one receipt as well. The email also allows you to email this individual um, payment, where this one does, this one up here allows you to email the whole receipt to them. And then delete allows you to delete the cash payment, but um, everything inside of our system, when you go to delete it, it's going to require the admin password. Everything except for the CODs, which we'll get to that in a second. And then lastly, you have your notes here. So if you click on the notes section, it allows you to take notes on each individual payment. 
once you take a note, it automatically highlights it in yellow. So you know that that particular payment does have a note against it. So let's go ahead and finish up this uh, payment. So I'm going to go ahead and select check and put a check number in there. And then hit add payments. And if you notice, it automatically closed the order for us like normal. Let's go ahead and go back into that so you can kind of take a look. You can see here that we have a cash payment of $50 and a check payment of $14.79. And each one that you click on gives you the information corresponding to it. So let's go ahead and take a delivery sale so you guys can see it in there. We're going to hit the money button once again. And let's go ahead and do a credit card so you guys can see what a credit card sale looks like. So I'm just going to, um, so I select a credit card. I'm going to go ahead and um, click on show CCs on file. All you do is click on that. This is a test dummy card. I have my processor is set as manual, so i got to put a manual approval code in here. And I'm actually going to say it was only for $50, so you guys can see what it looks like for multiple credit cards to be put on here. So I'm going to hit add payment. And then we have 2019 left. I'm going to go ahead and do another credit card. Let's do, uh, let's make this a five. And yeah, obviously let's change this to a different thing. And, and let's go ahead and add payment as well. Again, you notice it closed itself. So we can go back into this order here. And you can see that there's two credit cards taken. And if you want to look at each one of them, you can click on each one of them and look at them. So that's basically the payment screen. That's an overview of the payment screen. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the refund screen itself. Um, again, this is just going to be an overview, and then we'll do a more in-depth um, how to refund a cash sale, how to refund a credit card sale, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and go back into the order itself. Um, let's go to this, this delivery. We're going to unlock it. Now, there's two ways to go into the refund screen, and I'm sure you guys remember you can go in this way. Or you can go in now, you can go in inside the payment screen, you can go in this way. They both go to the same screen now. So before in the past with our old payment screen, when you did a refund on a credit card, um, you really never got a refund receipt when you did it inside of here. Um, but now, now both these are unified. If you go inside of here or if you go inside of here, they're both going to be the same exact refund screen. So let's go ahead and click on Refund Manager. Now this refund screen has a lot going on for it, and uh, if you look at the top here, it shows the actual user that's doing the refund. It shows the order total, payments against the order, and how many, how many refunds have been given against the order, how much refunds, money-wise. You have your order number and your customer ID, if there was one. So you have two types of refunds. You can do a all sales tax refund, so that happens if like maybe there was a tax exempt person that you charge tax, you can just check mark that and then do the refund, or you can just do a dollar amount, which you could before. So let's go ahead and do a partial dollar amount. So you're just going to check mark this. And once you check mark that, it automatically fills in down below here. So it shows your item total, and it automatically breaks your tax out for you now as well. It shows you the tax of 520, and then your actual total refund is 7019. All right, so let's go ahead and select that. We're going to go ahead and refund this credit card right here. And one thing you're going to notice is because this was actually done the same day, we can't do a partial refund of this particular credit card. We actually have to refund the entire credit card itself. And if you see here, it says this transaction can only be voided in full because your batch is still open. Adjust refund, adjusting refund amount. So when you hit OK, it automatically adjusts the refund to 2019, which is, all, this, which is all the money that's available to this particular credit card. And again, it breaks that tax out for you so you can see that. So we're going to go ahead and do tests, and then we're just going to go ahead and hit refund. You want to process it? Yes. Now this is against a manual ref uh, a manual credit card, so you can actually refund manual credit cards too if you'd like to. Now once you go ahead and X out of here, you're going to notice that it automatically makes this purple. You can show that the purple signifies that that particular payment has been refunded. When you click on it, you can see up here also says this payment has been partially refunded which is really neat. 
Also, you can see that there's money owed still on this now. So the, the actual order itself knows that there was multiple payments taken, but it knows that this was refunded. So it's, it shows you still owe 2019. So in, in essence, we could actually go ahead and say we, they want to give us a check. Maybe they didn't want to do the, um, the credit card for the 2019. They wanted to give us a check. So we can actually come in here and just put a check number in and hit add payment. Again, it's going to go ahead and close that order. Let's go back in and do it again. And it still shows partial refund because we did give a partial refund against the, the actual order itself. So you can see here that we took a credit card payment for $50, uh, another credit card payment for 2019, but we partially refunded it. And then we took a check for 2019. If we went into the refund manager, you're going to see as well that the refund's still in here. But now we have the full amount of money still available to us to refund. And it does still show that we did do a refund dollar amount because we didn't. But that's basically a general overview of the refund manager screen itself. Um, let's take a look a little more a little in depth here. What's what's what? So obviously you have your select refund payment type. This is going to be populated based on what kind of payment you've taken. So it's kind of intelligent enough to know that there's a credit card available, last four of one 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 one, or you can give cash back or store credit based on what's going on here. All right. So down below here you have your email stuff. So you can select the two. CC, BCC, whatever, you can enter whatever email address you want here by just adding an extra comma to add multiples. You can add an email to their account on the fly if they have a customer ID. And then you can print the receipt or email the receipt over here based on these little sliders. This button here is your refund button. And then down below you have some other stuff you can play with as well. Let's say that you did, ref you did print out the refund um, receipt, but they need another one. You can come back in here and just hit the print button. It's going to print for you. You can preview that as well if you'd like to view the receipt. Shows you the refund receipt. And then you can mail it from here directly as well. And then last but not least, you can delete the refund. That's going to also require the admin password to delete it. So this video is mainly just to kind of show you guys the the payment screen and the refund screen, the overview of those that's being released this weekend. Um, look to our YouTube channel for the other videos that are going to be more in depth. So uh, how to do a cash sale in the payment screen, how to do a check sale, how to do a COD and, and so on and so forth. Before I let you guys go, I got one other thing I'd like to show you and I think you guys will like this. Um, if you go into control panel and we go into system configuration, there's an area in here called payment types. And we've gotten plenty of calls about that. People are trying to get into that payment types area, but it's password protected. It's no longer password protected. Now you can now get in there. So let's go ahead and click on that. So you're going to notice that it shows all your payment types. Now, just so you guys know, you can't add any extra payment types. We basically have eight payment types right now at the moment, and that's all the system can handle. It could handle more, I guess, but uh, every time you change or add a payment type, it basically changes your reports. So uh, maybe down the road, we'll allow you to add more. But what this allows you to do is set your default payment and remove whatever payment types you guys don't accept. That way, it's, it makes it a little less cluttered for you. So in this example here, the default payment type is cash. So every time you open your payment screen, it's actually going to default to your cash payment. And maybe you don't do much cash. Maybe you do more credit cards. So what we could do is just check mark default here for credit card and hit save. It automatically removes the default for cash and puts it to credit card. Now let's go ahead and take a look at an order real quick. As soon as it opens up, you're going to notice that credit card is automatically selected by default, which is really neat. Let's go ahead and go back to our main screen once again, our uh, control panel area, back into payment types. Let's say that we actually don't have gift cards in our shop and we don't do uh, donations. Those two, okay? You have to do each one individually. So what we'll do is we'll uncheck them as enabled. And what that'll do for us is that'll remove those two payment types from our drop down menu, making it less cluttered. So let's go back into our our walk-in sale that we did here. And you're going to see when we click on the drop-down menu here that we only have four available, credit card being our default, and then we only have cash, check, and COD. The donation and the other one got removed. You don't see on account on there either because of the fact that we're only doing, we're doing a walk-in sale. All right, guys, so that's our new payment screen our new and our new refund screen. 
Um, if you have any questions, give us a call at 888-865-9768, or you can email us at support at thefloralpos.com, and you can always click on our little smiley face up here in the upper right-hand side. Again, this is our YouTube channel, so if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to our channel, every time we release a new video, a new how-to video, or any kind of video of any kind on our channel, you guys will automatically get alerted. Alrighty, and if you like this video, go, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Alright guys, take care until next time.